Hello, welcome back. This is a continuation of the previous video where we saw beading and boxing of maxillary impression. In this session, I shall show you how to do the same on mandibular impression with modeling wax. Please watch both the videos, okay, so that you know how to manipulate both these materials. Soften one edge of the wax sheet and fold it twice to get a wax strip of width 2 to 3 millimeters. Soften this wax strip over a flame and adapt it around the impression 2 to 3 mm below the border of the impression. Follow the outline of the impression just as explained in the previous video. Fine. This gives a well defined land area for your cast. You can uh, remove any excess of wax and contour it with a lacron scour. Uh, seal the beading wax from both the sides. Uh, you can see that I have completed the beading on the labial, buckle and around the retromolar pad area. Uh, now for the lingual side. You can see that there is a tongue space in the cast. In order to create it, we have to contour and seal a wax sheet to the lingual borders of the impression. Uh, this is how I do it. It's quite easy and fast this way. Uh, keep a wax sheet below the impression and trace the lingual outline on it. Uh, remove the outlined portion using a lacron scour. Now the wax uh, portion for the tongue space is ready. I find it easier to contour and adapt when I soften this wax sheet in warm water. Adapt it to the lingual uh, borders of the impression. Again, uh, the same rule, keep it 2 to 3 millimeters below the borders of the impression. Uh, some important points to keep in mind are, see the tongue space wax should extend flat and straight. Mm? Only then you will get a flat, straight tongue space on your cast. Right? That is, if it slopes upwards, you are going to get a downward sloping tongue space on your cast or vice versa understood you have to actually think in reverse it's a bit tricky placing it the right way but uh, you do it uh, once or twice uh, you'll definitely get the hang of it fine no worries if you don't get it perfect the first time okay you can see that the tongue space wax is extending beyond the extent of beading kept at the retromolar pad area remove the excess with a heated wax knife Okay, now we are done with beading. Make sure it's of uniform width, 2 mm below the margins. That is following the outline of the impression, removing any excess. And when it's good enough, we can proceed with boxing. Here, I'm not using boxing wax as shown in the video of maxillary impression. I'm using the same modeling wax sheet for boxing too. Seal the boxing wax sheet to the beading wax. Uh, place another wax sheet posteriorly to complete the boxing. Make sure you have adequate height of boxing. Uh, thickness of base of the car should be 13 to 15 mm from its deepest point. So check it from the highest point on the lingual border. As mentioned earlier, think in reverse, okay? deepest point on the cast corresponds to the highest point on the impression okay uh, before winding up check that there are no leaks by pouring in some water that's the mandibular impression with beading and boxing completed when you look directly from above make sure you are able to see equal width of beading wax all around error prone areas are the distal aspects of the impression if beading is too thin, these areas are prone to fracture during subsequent laboratory procedures involving complete of fabrication. So do uh, pay special attention to these areas. Fine. You may mess up slightly the first time you do this procedure, especially the mandibular tongue space. But no worries, okay? You just have to try it once more. Signing off for today.